Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about Obsidian for Mac. If you want to see how to get started with Obsidian for Windows, then do check out the video that I have added in the description of this video. Now let's get back to Obsidian for Mac. In order to download, install and get started, let's jump into our computer screen. And here we go. Here you can see I already have open browser. So now let me type here Obsidian and let's hit enter. And there we go. So simply click on Obsidian. And here we can quickly get started by clicking on get Obsidian for Mac. And let's say in case you would like to also use it in other platform, then if we click here on more platform, here you will find that Obsidian is available for all major platform, which also include mobile platform like iOS and Android. Not only it is available for Windows, but here you can see it also support Linux. Now here we can see we have completed our download. Let's make double click on it. And we simply need to drag it from Obsidian from left to right. And it is that easy guys. Now let me close it. And now let's go down here and search for Obsidian. Now, if needed, you can also ping it to your dock like this. Now, let me click on it to get started. Obsidian, for those who are not aware of, is an excellent note-taking tool for anyone who want to take their digital productivity to the next level. Obsidian gives you ton of options, for example, creating a backlink note, which we're going to explore in a while, and support markup language. Now let me actually click here on open and here we can see the welcome screen of Obsidian which will come for the first time because we have not created vault. Vault is nothing but I would say is a folder where we're going to store our notes. So let's click here on create and then here you can give your vault a name. For example, I'm going to give it as my personal notes. Now, if I go back here for a moment, here you can also see if you sign in, then in that scenario, you can also sync or fetch back your notes from existing vault that you have created in cloud. Now, let's go back again to create new vault. And here we already have given our vault a name. Now here we need to click on browse and we need to locate where we would like to save our vault. So let's say I would like to save it in my documents. And then here I'm going to create folder and I'm going to say Obsidian notes and let's click here on create. Now I'm going to again click on open and there we go. Now we have got this location available and now let's click here on create. And there we go. We have created our first Obsidian vault and then uh, we can also see a welcome note which kind of signify the capability of Obsidian. So here we can see this sample note which shows that how we can create a link and then we can also import notes using importer. Importer help you to migrate to Obsidian from various apps and format that one can explore from Obsidian help. For example, if you have created notes in Apple notes, you can import it here and then here you can see you have complete steps available. And the good thing here is you can see all major platforms are covered here. And let's again expand this Obsidian. And I'm going to quickly close this graph view. And let's see how we can quickly get started. I'm going to delete this welcome note here. And then here you can see your vault, which is your personal note. You can also create another vault or another folder uh, by clicking here on manage and then create. But for the time being, I'm going to keep it only one. And here you can see it says that no file is open. So let's create our first ever note. Here I can give it a name, for example, Obsidian Notes. And then here I can mention about Obsidian Notes. Obsidian Notes is an excellent platform to create notes with backlink, which we're going to see in a while. Some of major competitor of Obsidian Notes are OneNote, Apple Note, and so on. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a backlink. For example, here I am mentioning about OneNote. 
and I also would like to create information about OneNote. So what I can do here is I can actually encapsulate this OneNote between these two brackets. And as soon as you click outside here, you can see you have successfully created your first backlink. Now let me click here on OneNote and there we go. Now here you can see we also have created another note named as OneNote. Now here I can talk about OneNote. Now here you can see I have created this note. Here also I would like to create a backlink. Um, let's talk about Microsoft. Okay. I'm going to again encapsulate this Microsoft inside the big bracket. And then if I click here on Microsoft, here I am creating another link. Now what I'm going to do here is again, I'm going to create a backlink. I'm going to do encapsulate this one note within bracket. And there we go. Since I guess we already have covered one note. So if I click on it here, you can see I again redirected back to one note. And then if I click here on Microsoft, you can see uh, we are in this loop. And in this way, guys, you can create multiple, multiple backlink based on your requirement. You can also see these backlink in a graph view. So if I click here on graph view, here you can see how these three nodes are being connected. Since I have not mentioned about Obstian nodes, that's why here you can see there is no direct link between Microsoft and Obstian nodes. So if I mention here Obstian node, somewhere here. Now, if I again encapsulate this here, now let's again have a look on graph view. And this time now here you can see, um, since I also have mentioned about Obsidian nodes inside Microsoft. Now here we can see there is a direct link between Microsoft nodes and Obsidian nodes. Previously, you might have seen that since there was no direct link, so this connection or this line was missing. Okay, now let's talk about one more cool feature about Obsidian Notes. So Obsidian Notes also support markup language, which means that let's say if you would like to create heading, you can utilize markup syntax, for example, hash for heading, type heading one, you can use hash, and then you can write your heading, for example, here, talking about Microsoft overview, and then it also support hashtags as you can see here, but since I want to create heading here, so I'm going to place a space and there we go. So now here we have created this heading. Let's say you would like to create a smaller heading. Then in that case, you need to place one more hash. And in this way we can create a smaller heading. And that's it for this quick walkthrough of Obsidian and how we can utilize markup syntax inside Obsidian. If you found this helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on boosting your productivity.